Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Eileen. So um, I'm used. I'm decorating my um, packaging for my ticket flip that I created earlier. One of those, and um, I'm just using a lot of the scraps that came out of the carousel kit. Um, the carousel 12 by 12. So. I used my hole punch, a three inch hole punch, and punched a circle from one of the hot air balloon pages. So I put that down. This was a ready made bow that I had in my stash. I made this few challenges back. And then um, this was just the strip of, you know, those banners and pennants on the carousel page. So I'm just cutting them into flags. And I'm just going to label, I mean, not label layer them over my um, hot air balloon and then this will be the last one that I attach to my packaging and then I'll just cut whatever is hanging over all right so I got a little bit ahead of myself and forgot to turn on the camera <laughs> and um, yeah so that's what we're going to work with now I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue and putting it on my banners and there's no rhyme or reason just using up my scraps and placing it so we can have some variety on here and something something made a mistake that wasn't where that was supposed to go but it's okay we'll just cover cover it up with another piece of scrap. Or actually, I'm gonna use this one and I'm just gonna cut cut my tails right there. Alright, and then probably mm, yeah, I think I'll do that. Cut on the top. All right, so we're almost done with this. And then I'm just going to put my put my little cut out onto the bag just oh, just like that. And then I'm just going to trim. Okay, so this was a little gift, I mean a gift. This was a purchase I got at Big Lots and they had it on clearance. So I figured, let's grab one of these because it's so pretty and get this done for my swap. Should I just take it out of the packaging? I think so. I think I will just take it out. Oh, it's double-sided. I didn't even see that. Cute. Okay. And just take this out. Ooh, it's one of those changing like that. And guess what? This. this is so cute. Um, how do we attach it? I don't see how. Look at this. Let me show you what I'm going for. You see that? Like that? Except, I don't know. How can I, it 
touch this. Attach it to my binder. But I just slip my ring through just like a paper clip. As if it was a paper clip. There we go. That works. Well, it just came off. It just came out. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, that's better. And leave it like that. There we go. So I just slipped the key ring. Um, I slipped the page that I laminated between the key ring slits and it just fits in there. Like you're going to use it as a paper clip. So that makes perfect use of that. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so fat and chunky. Let me show you. Okay, what I did. Uh, so here's the shaker. Okay. There's our shaker. Here's our little key ring. And then the front page, I put my memory decks in the pocket. So it sits right there. I didn't put any decorations on it because I don't want to thicken it up anymore because of the the shaker page that we have going on right here. I didn't put any decorations on the back, but I did put on the front some of the die cuts from the uh, ephemera kit. So I thought that would look good. Then I have the page with my bows. And then I have this page to hold on with the paper clip that I made. It's got my little hearts with the party hat and the ice cream cone and then on the bottom there's another one so in this pocket I have my bag toppers with my bags some fun little bags and then here we have my embellishments and I added two of the um, uh, medallion embellishments that I made um, in my previous video so we have these going on it added a little extra thickness to this section, but it's okay. And then we have the rest of the medallions that I made, the um, embellishments. We have this one here, then we got the little um, Ferris wheel, and then they have the carousel, the, the horse, down on the bottom. And I stuck them with the washi tape method again. I just used the little washi tape method and stuck it to the plastic and it holds my um, paper, I mean crepe paper rosettes. Ay. And then this here is just the pocket full of extra goodies that I wanted to share with my swap partner. Now, like I said, I'm not a planner, but guess what? I have a whole bunch of planner stuff because I attempted to be a planner and that's what came out of it. <laughs> and then, like I said, we have this little baggie. I got this in a D stash. But I believe this was at Target Cheer and Company. Let me know if I'm mistaken, but it is a bat, uh, set of six. And um, this is the first bag that I used. And we, we did that together, all that decorating on the front together. And I just left the back blank. And what I did, I wrapped my, I wrapped my little ticket flip in here with some wrapping, uh, some tissue paper. But I also stuffed in, I threw in some of the pom-poms and I added one of my uh, eraser um, goodies that I hauled from Walmart that was um, out during Valentine's Day. So I stuffed two of these little mini erasers in there. Um, and I also threw in some of the stars that I picked up from uh, Dollar General, okay? So that's what's all in here and it's a simple open open and close with the uh, velcro and there it is you can see right down in there but um that was it guys i am ready to send this baby out and because it is so bulky i am i don't think i will be adding extra um goodies to this package because it will be just way too thick 
to go into what I want to put it into okay so okay guys so my last gift that I'm making is part of my um, part of my um, swap um, I recently hauled these little pouches from the party section at Walmart and so I loaded my pouch I shared with my partner whoops some beads let me let me get this real quick just want to show you the beads that the beads that I'm sharing there we go so here's the pouch and I just grabbed a bunch of some of the uh, beads that I recently hauled from Hobby Lobby so here are those beautiful iridescent stars and then these are the beads from Hobby Lobby those tube beads the ones that come in the tube um, container everybody's hauling the um, $17 little tube beads tube I can't speak and then these little beads are from Dollar Tree so the round ones and then these are circle flat circles okay they're very cute and I thought I would throw some of these into the pouch whoops and I think it'll be a great um, opportunity for her to make like a charm or oh, I'm losing my beads make a charm or something so I thought that was cute and then also I was gonna put some um, pom-poms in here but yeah doesn't really go so we're gonna do this um, these bracelets are also from the party aisle at Walmart and I'm just gonna take my ball my ball chain here and loop the hearts through and she can make shakers with these I have not tried it yet but I just you know because I just purchased the bracelets and I thought these are both so cute so this was a pack of four for a dollar something I forget how much they were and then the pack of bracelets right here in the party aisle was like 97 cents 98 cents something really inexpensive so I'm gonna put this also in her little um, package and that is it guys everything is packed up I threw in some of the uh, grass that I just hauled from Dollar Tree and uh, yeah I think it'll be a great addition to my partner or for my partner and I'm just gonna toss it in here last thing I have to do before I forget is make her a card so the card will go in and that'll be it I'll be done and Thank you all for joining me and hopefully I can post some of the pictures at the end and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.